Hello everybody watching at home, this is Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Today's edition, we're talking about, well, the shirt. The shirt says it all really, doesn't it? Leaving the past behind. So, there's a saying that I heard a few years ago, or more so I saw it painted on a door in this, this, uh, uh, what do you call it? Squat that I was saying it at the time. It was absolutely covered in painting. And it said on the door, no way out but through. No way out but through. And at first it, it seemed like a simple statement. It could only really stretch so far in terms of its application. Upon further meditation and pondering, I realized you can apply it to many things in life, if not everything in life. No way out but through. So, a lot of people, in terms of holding onto baggage from the past, not being able to let go of the past and needing to leave the past behind. I think a lot of the time this happens, obviously because people don't resolve uh, a lot of problems that have risen in the, in the past, a lot of situations. People sometimes have a tendency to just turn away and ignore and distract themselves and hope that these things just fade away over time. Sometimes they do fade away in our mind. We don't think about it as much. We start forgetting about it. But still, there's these subtle influences, and sometimes not so subtle. Hello, just another drill. That's just, that's just the way it is these days. Anyway, um, subtle influences, sometimes not so subtle, and how these things still affect us, these unresolved tensions, and these unresolved and repressed traumas sometimes, and issues um, that we just keep under the lid. And, you know, various things throughout our day could trigger these things and how we feel and maybe we don't even identify the cause we don't even identify why we feel so stressed out so upset so panicked so anxious so angry um, when certain things trigger us and I think a lot of it's to do with unresolved tensions and problems from the past uh, I've talked about that before a little bit and about uh, triggers and uh, anchors and there's a video on anchors if you want to understand more about that psycho psychology term but um Basically, I think that, you know, instead of trying to go around problems and when they arise and then leaving them in the past to kind of grow and hide in your shadow and keep, you know, because they never really disappear and they always, always uh, bear their influence on you. I think it's better to work your way through and this is where that saying comes in, there's no way out but through. You can't work your way around anything in this place. Nothing disappears just because you cover your eyes. That's a child's way of looking at it. Child mentality doesn't work in reality. Best way is to go through something. Once you through it, once you face it and you confront it and you do what you gotta do and you resolve it and you move through it and beyond, then you are beyond it. You're not just in front of it with your back turned, hoping it doesn't affect you still, but you're actually past it. And it is then truly in your past. You know what I'm saying? To coin this, basically, hey there, man. If you don't catch up with your past, it will catch up with you. No way out, but through.